back to Day Before News, the only news station to report on future incidents. Today's top story, protests began against the tolerance of students skipping school. With the new zombie outbreak, students have been skipping school at an unreasonable rate, declining the U.S. rank in education. Students who do go to school are often interrupted by those not attending and are tired of it. School boards have started debating on how to deal with this problem. On the scene of a student-led protest is Colin. Good afternoon, Colin. Good afternoon, Evan. Today at some local high schools, many students are demanding that their education change to match the changes of today's society. Many students now refuse to go to school since the most recent outbreak of Ligma. And with the ailment of disrupting classes, many students that still go to school are demanding justice. Today I spoke with Clay, a student at Vernon High. Since the start of Ligma, your schooling has been deeply affected. How do you feel about the drastic changes to your education? It's upsetting. We can't learn anything with all these distractions. Most of my peers I haven't seen here for at least three months. And there's not much to learn when the teachers are gone too. What do you think would be the best course of action to get students back in school? I honestly think just taking some kids back to school would do the trick. It's kind of hard to want to go back to school when you've got to walk through a decimated city to get there. We've got to make it more accessible. Do you feel there should be repercussions for those skipping or crashing classes? I mean, yeah. Either they should have to come to school or face the consequences. It's unfair for the people who actually go to school to be the only ones facing negative impacts. But no punishments have been served. The school has been talking of this matter for the past week and currently are in the process of... Does anyone else hear? Hey, 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 back, back! As Clay recalled, making school accessible to those who can't travel through the rubble of our city is an important step to getting more students back in the learning environment. But it's not just about the students when thinking of getting education back on track. For those who teach, their classrooms are often not a good teaching environment. Yeah, well, it's been rough, you know. It's sad to see all the decrease in students, and yeah, sometimes I have a student with a case of ligma, and they're not here to learn. They're just here to distract other students. I think maybe if we had some help keeping them from biting people, that'd be great. Sam, hey, hey, you're gonna be in my classroom. You gotta stop trying to eat Isabella. Different proposed solutions for moving forward this school year, many are hoping the Vernon Cove School District's board will be making new changes and getting kids back in class. This was Day Before News, live in the moment to come. I'm Evan, signing off for tonight. Tomorrow at 9, technology innovations, as new AI speech for Ligma patients, could be the new norm.